I have a little surprise here. It's not a giveaway though, but uh, who, who kind of imagines who that is? Any ideas? Come on, guys. It's a 3D print of Angela Merkel. So it's the mini Merkel, the mini me. Um, and this has a story. Two and a half years ago, we were at Hanover Messe and um, we showed the topic of additive manufacturing as such for the first time, really big time with partners. And um, one of those colleagues who've been there, um, literally from the beginning with Siemens working on that topic is here for the next presentation. Um, he's the Vice President for Additive Manufacturing. Please welcome Dr. Carsten Häuser. Welcome. Carsten, hi. I mean, it, we are lucky that you're here because he's traveling around the globe for the topic of additive manufacturing. So how are you? I'm fine. Thanks for inviting me. Yeah, but I mean, it's a pleasure having a specialist on that topic, 3D printing in industry. And here is the picture which refers to that little mini-me. I still remember it was more or less my first day in my new function. It happened a lot. And I want to talk a little bit what happened in the last two and a half years. It's totally different. Now you have industrial additive manufacturing ready for zero production. We also have one of the exhibits at the main showcase, Automotive. There is a 3D print, which is like the most important thing of a car, more or less, so to say. Indeed. And Indeed. I think you're going to present that too, beside of all these little toys here. I mean, we're at the toy city of Germany because the toys fair is taking place here every year in I February. I have to correct you. This is, is a that, toy. The, okay, and these this are? This is industrial applications, and I will introduce this now. Okay, you introduce this. I'm often getting a second to, to <laughs> see you. So welcome. Yeah, what happened in the last two and a half years? We worked very hard to bring the digital and the real world together in strategic partnerships with machine builder and with machine user. And I want to introduce some of these examples which are now migrated into real industrial serial additive manufacturing applications. Let's ask a question, how to improve a 3D printer by 3D printing? This was a question when we teamed up with HP and Siemens experts roughly one half a year ago to really look into one example in this printing machine. Like in many industries, cooling is an important factor limiting speed and efficiency of machines. Here you see in this picture that the cooling duct for this 3D printer is normally historically produced by six different parts you need to do by injection molding and assembly together. So the question to the joint team was, do we see any improvement if we now integrate the full solution into our digital enterprise suite? So what did we do? We started with the digital twin of the product. And we uploaded the six parts into our software suite. And then in the same software suite, we have simulation tools which are able now to simulate the behavior of this cooling duct. And this is like in nature, like an evolution. It takes probably 1,000 years. Here, this takes just some hours to calculate and iterate the behavior in, the, in this system and this cooling duct and optimize the design for a perfect and optimized flow behavior. Even the software already knows if this can be printed. So we have the printing parameters already installed in our software. Now we have a digital twin of the product, and we already find out at this point that this is 22% improved in cooling and flow efficiency. Now the next question is how to plan and simulate the production. There we leverage our digital twin of the production. And this on two levels. One level is in the side of the machine. We have an algorithm to automate the planning of the printing process. So the software is already doing the full assemble of these printing parts inside of the build chamber. And on the other side, you see here, 
with our plant simulation software, we can already produce in the digital world 300,000 parts per year without installing any equipment. By that, as a factory manager, you already know exactly what the costs, the operating expenses, what your personal, what all these costs are before you start to move into the real world. You need for sure, you need to prove it. And this we have done in our AM Experience Center in Erlangen here, where the MES system is now guiding the job into the printer. You start the print button, and then the newest technology from HP is starting to produce these parts, like you see it here, in this very, very fancy design. No construction engineer would have a, ever imagine this kind of design. These parts can now be scaled up, and they are even implemented in the newest printing solutions from HP. But even one step further, now the question is how to leverage all the data generated in the machine. And this is shown here. So we upload all these data. We utilize our IoT cloud system to monitor how is the printer doing, what is about our process in the printer. So this is the step with Mendix and MindSphere to move into predictive maintenance with monitoring your process on the shop floor for the printing. And last but not least, you can close the loop and you learn now from the data what you should do differently. So you have a continuous improvement process on this example. What are the results? I already mentioned the 22% flow improvement. But then even further, it was possible to reduce development time by 75%. It's possible to reduce part costs while you increase the value yield, you reduce part costs by 34%. At the end, it's a printer printing 15 times faster than before by just a few additive produced components inside which is, I think, an excellent example about the value of additive manufacturing in this example. And we are very proud that our customer is happy with this. And here you see a comment from Christoph Schell, part of the executive board from Hewlett Packard, while they started and launched the first machine in our center in Erlangen. Now let's look into, you see a second one here. This is a heavy metal part for rocket aerospace applications. You need a different technology to print this. And you already see the digital twin running while I speak. So this is an integration solution with the company Beam, a machine builder who equipped the worldwide first machine with the Cinomeric one you will find at the SPS as well. Here you have a multi-X driven process with a direct energy deposition technology. And the full process, the part, is designed in our software and once more, it's running in the digital twin of production with all the same G code as it's running later on on the real machine. So you can already test any collision avoidance. And you can already start to commission the machine while you do not have the machine. For example, the company Beam achieved to do the commissioning of the machine in only two days. Normally, they have need two to four weeks to do the commissioning. A big improvement, and here you see the full integration for these as well. Now let's look. We even teamed up with them, and we will now equip and help Beam on the further journey on industrial additive manufacturing in the partnership on this machine level with the digital enterprise. One more example. Just imagine this part here. It's a sand-printed casting. For this, you need another machine. You need a binder jetting machine. And here, once more, we teamed up with a machine builder, a leading machine builder here, which is X1. And X1 has developed the full machine in our digital twins. So the mechatronic concept, as well as the electronic concept, the virtualization of the machine was all developed first in a virtual world. This improved the machine from the beginning and reduced the time and makes now a leading machine for the sand casting industry. Here you see the result from a part printed of the machine. 
And X1 is now stepping into the next level, is monitoring the process on MindSphere, is using process control and monitoring through their machine that you can see it on your iPad, on your Apple Watch, wherever you want to see the status of the machine. Here you see a command from John Hartner, the CEO of X1. And as well, once more, yes, happy customers. This is what we go for, what we work for every day to reach this with our customer and partner for the machine building. One part is left here, and this part I took at the end because this part you will experience as long as you wish. Because this part is displayed here just roughly 30, 40 meters after you in the big digital enterprise case. This is an aluminum part which will re revolutionize the automotive industry because it will be possible to produce much more flexible for the automotive electric car industry with additive manufacturing. This was developed in a project with the company EDAC roughly half a year ago and displayed as well here in the showcase live at the SPS throughout the full week. This for metal powder bed printing is even more important because you need to cover the full process. You need to print. You have robot applications to reduce or get rid of some support structures. You need to handle the full post-processing with depowdering and as well you can simulate already the production plant and we can now go into full additive manufacturing serial productions for all of these examples and I would like to invite you it's here as well on the map please come by discuss with us and experience how you can start your journey on additive manufacturing Siemens ingenuity for life